welcome to this video yes so now the dust has settled everybody is moving on from all the chaos you know fina created two days ago and of course everybody is having fun now i have to tell you guys that there's this um uh gt fashion show that happened uh yeah i think two days ago as well but of course you know big brother housemates will always be invited to programs like this and guess what uh hermes got into um you know this misunderstanding with the uh security you know security at the event they did not allow him into the event so he called them out called the bank out as well and also lamented about how he is finding things difficult as a very responsible young man and also for the fact that um his looks kind of his looks kind of uh affect him somehow in this society i mean in nigerian society so he had to say so many things about himself his family and how he's really struggling and how he taught family and friends i mean some where he thought were friends did not come to for him so here's a long video him of him explaining everything in details T bank i was going to be calm about it but i absolutely need an explanation to why y'all invite me to an event and i get there security checking for my name three times over the list after the third time they fold on the list and they're looking at me like i'm not supposed to be there my representatives are there looking at all of this happened and they say nothing like i absolutely need an explanation as to why all of that happened so it's like when you lot don't pay for a certain service yeah you don't know how to behave or something like it's messed up and I'm trying to be calm, I swear. Man, whatever, man. It's like, never gonna happen again, though. Promise you that. That's on God. I swear. Like, man's not even supposed to be outside. Like, I'm recovering, yeah? And I'm trying to, like, gather up strength. But out of respect for your organization, yeah? I just thought, you know, I, I come out. But never again. Never. Never. It never happen again. Not for you lot or anyone else. It's never worth it, you know. If you had paid, yeah, you'd have had a whole escort waiting for me to work for me in. But you invited me, out of respect, I try to show up and I get embarrassed like that. At the fucking gate. <laughs> it's it's laughable, you know. It's fucking laughable. GTB. It's fucking laughable. Hey guys, so against better judgment, and I say that because it's a common norm to only speak and uh, project our successes, as everyone would say, and I do agree, that people do not care about the difficulty that it means to provide evidence or results or success. Um, but then again, my spirit would not just let me be as regards not chatting in this. Um, so I'm just going to tell the story of what <laughs> the past couple of weeks has been. Um, to end, uh, to come to an end, just stick with me, yeah. Um, so it all started when I got a text um, from the elders, elderly people home, and my mom is at, um, saying that the the fee was due. Um, so for the you lot that don't know, I pay one hundred and fifty thousand naira every month, every month for um, where my mom is at, um, and mind you. I do that looking like this for all of you who are telling me to change or whatever it is. I'm already responsible. I don't need your validation to be. Um, that said, um, at the time, I was done financially, but I had a couple of dollars in my account, yeah. Um, I went to withdraw a bank. On going back home from doing that, I suffered a panic attack from um, experiencing the symptoms of um, acid, acid influx, as um, 
big dog, Mr. Uche, Manu, made me understand. Because I knew nothing about what I was going through. And when I experienced the symptoms, I panicked and I, I was hospitalized. And with the money that I had withdrew to go pay my mom's whatever um, fee, I had to pay for hospital bills. I was in the hospital, went through all of that. <laughs> thank God for family, a few trusted friends. Beauty, thank you so much. Beauty came to the hospital to visit me, even though she was also recovering from her own illness. I rate that. I think she's absolutely amazing. Um, and I mean, like, I already gave thanks to family. Um, that happened. I've been trying to recover, so I've not been able to work. And like I said, that was the money I was supposed to use to pay my mom's, um, what's it called, fee for the place that she's at, yeah? So all of this happened, and I've been recovering. The lots of friends that I thought I had but wouldn't even text me to check up on me. But I mean, I wouldn't do anything that I do for recompense, recompense or a reciprocation of it. And for all of the way they talk, say the accent one thing, one thing, one thing. Like, guys, um, <laughs> if you wouldn't admit it, I know how much hard work I put into reinventing myself. I know exactly where I come from, or Shoki to be exact. It's a slum. And I feel it now when Dave said that um, a lot of people want to make it out, but nobody wants anyone to make it out. Um, so you people hear me speak like this. I got my sorrow. Before I feel talk like this, like imagine how much work I put in myself. Imagine how much work I've done to be able to sound like this. But you lot want to discard the work, to try to intimidate me. If you know anything, I'm not one to be intimidated. Too original for that. <laughs> Too original for that, yeah? Um, so that said, yeah, I've been going through all of that and I did that alone. And I didn't want to share it. And in my recovery, I found God again. I've been praying. Um, and oftentimes, like I said, my spirit has been fighting me to make a statement on what I've been going through. Hopefully it might inspire somebody or maybe it doesn't. Um, but at this point, it's just essential that I share this. And I've been, I said all of this to just say that I've been through too much. Yeah. And I felt like, I feel like the reason why I even broke down as, as Big Dog Manu made me understand is because I've been doing too much. And I feel like it's just, um, what's, what's that, what's that statement? It, um, uh, survivor's guilt. Yeah. So I've come out the hood. Yeah. And I feel like I owe it to everyone to serve at a certain capacity, even though it's not true. Yeah. But it's true to me because I know exactly where it is that I'm coming from. And a lot of people know this because I have to present myself. So I overextend myself a couple of times, a lot of times. And I did that too long, for too long, that I actually broke down, yeah? Um, I was available to people who didn't deserve my attention, available to places that I shouldn't be at. Um, you all know each of the talents that I have talking. You hear me talk now. I worked on this. I was speaking to Moe of um, Family Sound City, and I was thanking her for being herself because these are the people that I listen to, and I would practice how to stress sentences, how to stress um, words, how to sound like this, like I worked on myself. It's easy for someone who grew up around this kind of accent to pick it up. I literally had to reinvent myself. So that's a lot of hard work. I'm very proud of it. Yes, I learned how to talk like this and I'm very proud of it. Very proud of it. I say it anywhere, you get me? Um, so it's a lot, yeah? And yesterday, to come to where I'm going to, yeah? Um, I think I just let my anger get the best of me, yeah? I shouldn't have chatted. Um, there's no need to to call out an organization that's huge, yeah? It just puts every other organization at a scared point to me. And I'm trying to work, I'm trying to work. I'm not trying to put my money away. I'm not trying to mess up my bag. So I owe GT Bank a huge apology. And this is me saying I apologize. Yes, it's damage control. But I need to do damage control because my mom depends on me being able to work to take care of her. My family does. I pay two rents currently. Um, three, that's including my mom's for where she's at. I still take care of medical bills for her. 
and I do that looking like this. For all of you who want to judge how I look, think that um, responsibility is tethered to look in a certain way, you're wrong because you know nothing about my reality. And I'm just chatting on this, not because of you, just because of all of the people. Like, I'm keeping this look intentionally because it's a common thing. I said this somewhere in an interview. It's a common view to see people like this and look like this and think that they're irresponsible. But I look like this and I take care of family, I take care of myself, I take care of my mom. I'm absolutely responsible and I look like this. So a lot of people look like this and they're absolutely responsible. I'm not cheated no one. I'm not stolen from no one ever in my life. I've been through the hardest phase of my life. I had zero friends. Thank you, Beauty. Thank you, Bros Manu. Thank you, some of my basketball parties. Um, um, family, a few friends, Ashley, you know, they were with me. They kept texting me, kept checking up on me um, to make sure I was doing good. Like, I'd never been hospitalized in my entire life. And I went through that and I didn't want to chat on it. I still don't. I'm just, I'm just mandated. Like I said, my spirit wouldn't let me just rest. Um, I found God again. I started praying again heavy every morning from it's, it's amazing where I'm at. Yeah, I'm in a beautiful place now. And I got to say thank you, a big thank you to EME agency as well. Um, they've been a fundamental part of my growth here and now. Um, so I mean what I said, yeah? You're not, not going to see me outside. You see me outside, no, I've been paid to come outside. Um, if you're going to call me out, you're not going to pay me. Don't even chat to me. You know where my management is at, yeah? If you're texting me for work, I'm not going to reply to you. My management's on my bio, yeah? Text them. If you're serious about work, text them. Yeah, I'm not available. I'll be in my house drinking or eating whatever, watching TV. If you chat on me, chat to me for work, if you're not chatting my management, you're not going to get my attention. I promise you that. And I'm serious about that, yeah? And like I said, I've got to give a big apology to GT Bank. I don't mean any bad press to them. Um, like I said, I let my anger get the better of me. That's not who I am. I don't do sort of things. I'm not that kind of guy. Yeah, I come from the trenches, but it's not who I am. I've reinvented myself. I've done the work to study society and know exactly what it demands from me, what it expects from me. And I'm doing the work to apply myself accordingly, yeah? And I do not think that it's their fault that a few individuals who are um, rather irrelevant to the workings or what it means to operate the organization at the GT Bank um, are responsible for me calling out an entire organization like that. I don't want to mess up my bag. It's not who I am. So do forgive me. Um, I hope you forgive me. What's done is done. This is just Hamid Kanji. I'm going to put this out and hopefully people understand what it is. It's all love from this side. I never had hate to give. I still don't have hate to give. And for the people who never checked up on me, um, when I gave love, I had it to give. I don't regret it. But like I told Jermaine, thank you for checking on me, Jermaine. Um, I'm just going to have to do a bit of adjustment as to who deserves my attention or my time and who doesn't. And that's it. Love you guys. Peace. So guys, that is it. Hope you guys have heard from Hermes and I hope he actually gets recovered from everything he is doing and also I pray that he get more, more, more gig, you know, more work to do. He has a lot of responsibilities to take. That's why I keep saying that this celebrity life is not easy. It's not everybody that is having it rosy. Some of them are really working it off it's not easy at all so guys thank you so much for watching this quick video i'll see you all in the next video